guys, so welcome to this episode, and in this one, I'm going to explain why you should allow your potential customers to take you to bed. Now, recently, I just ran a, uh, a webinar, a free business training that we do at Shift Success, and a lovely police officer, or ex-police officer, I believe, uh, said that she's going to take me to bed. Now, of course, she was having a laugh, she was having a giggle. We all laughed on the, uh, the webinar, and she was basically referring to my book, right? And I thought to myself, well, there's a lesson in that. Of course, I was having a laugh, but there is a lesson in that that I want to share with you in this episode. You see, it's very, very, very important that you allow your customers to gain that know, like, and trust with you. And whether you're an author, whether you're a video creator, or you've got your own podcast, or maybe even that you write blogs, content is a way for your customers to build that know, like, and trust without you being present, okay? Now, that's incredibly important because as a business owner, you've got you know, many priorities to do, right? You've got things to manage your team, making sales, it could be marketing. And when you create pieces of content just like this, you create it once, and that allows your potential customer to consume you time and time again, whether on the run, whether in the bath, or even in bed. Now, Google have done some amazing research in this area, uh, and basically, they created an article called ZMOT, or Zero Moments of Truth. And in that article, it explains that before a customer becomes a customer, they need to consume seven hours of content over 11 touch points or interactions over four platforms. And it absolutely makes sense. For those who know me on a, uh, on a personal level, or in fact, not even a personal level because I do share on my social media, that I love golf, right? I fell in love with golf in June 2020 uh, during one of the, uh, after one of the first lockdowns, I believe. And um, I was in the market to buy some golf clubs. Now, uh, I'm a big Tiger Woods fan, so one of the first things I did was research what clubs he uses, right? And that was on YouTube, and then what I did was then go on the website, which was tailor-made. I went on the tailor-made website. Then I went and checked out some other reviews that other golfers, like uh, amateur golfers use, and also their thoughts on tailor-made. And then all of a sudden, I went to American Golf, which is a shop uh, around the UK, and I started to uh, feel and test out the uh, the golf uh, the golf clubs in question. And then I went to my golf coach, and I asked my golf coach, "Can I use this particular club or these sets of clubs on the on the range?" And what was happening is that I knew I was building up that know, like, and trust with. Uh, the tailor-made brand and with their product, which was uh, these these golf clubs. It was actually called the Sim Sim Max, I believe. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I then purchased those clubs. So when I look back on that purchase, I actually realized I consumed way above that seven hours of content, right? I checked them out on YouTube. I had checked, you know, uh, Tiger Woods, the other app tailor-made athletes, the website. Um, what other reviewers were talking about these clubs. I went into American Golf and test out these uh, clubs and see how they feel. And then I went to test them again with my golf coach on the driving range. And it's really important that we allow our potential customers to do that before they become a customer with ourselves, whatever products or service you are selling. Now, the truth is you don't actually have to be in physical presence as I've explained uh, when you are selling your products and service, right? I did all the stalking and researching on my golf clubs um, before actually becoming a customer of TaylorMade because they had created assets that allowed me as the customer or potential customer at the time to consume, okay? And that's why I want you to do, if you're thinking about going into business or even maybe you're in business right now, you need to allow your customer to go down a rabbit hole of stalking you and consuming your content. So Shift Success, we've got my book, we've got my podcast, the YouTube video, Facebook group. These are all assets that continue to deliver value on an ongoing basis so I can focus on other priorities in the business. Without that know, like, and trust, a customer remains cold. And what you ideally want is that all these piece of content actually nurture the relationship uh, with your potential customer so by the time you're ready to actually extend that relationship in actually becoming a customer it's a much simple process 
Now you may be wondering what um, 11 touch points are or four platforms. Well, seven hours of content starting off with that is seven hours of content. If I Google your name or if I look on your um, website or I look online, can I consume seven hours of content? If I haven't, then I'm not gonna be able to build that no like and trust up, but it's gonna be much harder to do so. 11 touch points is basically, uh, touch points could be in the form of a text message, a, a YouTube video, it could be an email campaign, it could be a podcast, it could be a tweet, any kind of interaction or touch point where you're having a uh, regular interaction, a touch point, right? A regular um, nudge to your potential customer. And the other, uh, the last thing I want to mention is platforms. Now this could be offline, so it could be a you know an, uh, an offline event. So for me, I went into my see my golf coach, and I went into American Golf, or it could be a, a platform like LinkedIn or YouTube. They can count towards the seven hours of content over eleven touch points or interactions and four platforms. Okay. So it's really important that when you look at your business now or potential business, that you really have got to get out there those key numbers. If you haven't, then you're going to be potentially doing yourself a disservice. So to leave you with this uh, lesson um, is allow your customers to take you to bed. All right, allow them to consume your content, allow them to you know watch you on video, allow them to read your content, or maybe even listen to your content if you've got a podcast. And I promise you your conversions, your sales are going to increase. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next episode.